In this video, we're assembling the backplane for the Mark 8 mini computer. The design of this backplane is quite straightforward. On each side, you'll find the power connectors for both positive 5 volts and negative 9 volts, and also connectors for the ground. Although we'll only be using one set of these connectors in our build, we'll go ahead and install all of them for completeness. The bus on this board comprises 10 slots, each containing 41 lines. Unfortunately, finding a connector with 41 positions proved to be a challenge, but I managed to secure one with 40 positions. Our approach will involve splitting these connectors and then splicing them together to create a functional 41 position connector. To illustrate, here's an example of what the final setup will look like. Let's go ahead and install these headers. With all the headers now installed, we move on to installing the power connectors. There are three 4-pin connectors for the positive 5V and negative 9V lines, and three 3-pin three connectors for the ground. It's important to ensure that the 4-pin connectors are oriented uniformly, with pin 1 aligning consistently towards the same voltage line. You may have noticed that the bus features several lines that are cut, which can be jumpered if necessary. Some of the bores to be installed in this backplane will require these lines to be cut, while others will need to be active. To accommodate a variety of bores, we'll install a 16 position jumper header in the provided holes. Finally, to ensure that the splice headers re remain securely in place, we'll apply a small amount of glue to the joints. I use super glue because that's all I had on hand, but ideally a different type of glue that doesn't leave stains would be preferable for this task. After thoroughly washing the board with hot water and soap, I believe we're ready to begin testing. The board assembly is now complete. There are a couple of points I'd like to highlight about this process. Firstly, the bus connectors required a splicing to achieve 41 position header. 
Ideally, I would have preferred using a ready-made 41 position header, or connector, but unfortunately, the design of this board doesn't accommodate any existing 41 position connectors. This approach, however, is still more efficient than the original design, where all the boards were hardwired to the backplane. On a related note, the glue used on the splice sliders resulted in stains, further emphasizing the advantages of having a single position connector. Secondly, there was a slight issue with the 16 position jumpers. They didn't quite fit into the provided holes due to incorrect pitch for a standard header. It seems the board's uh, designer initially intended these lines to be jumped manually with the wire. However, this could be improved by simply using a spacing of holes that uh, accommodate standard headers. And that is all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video where we'll be exploring power supply options for the Mark 8.